video I am going to discuss what are the important concepts are there to develop any chat port application. So as a developer we must know what are the important concepts, what is the basic architecture and what are the important classes is required to know before starting the chatbot development. So in this video I will explain all those things that is required for any beginners developer for chatbot. So welcome to Vinod Suman Academy. Let us start today's session and I would recommend uh, before to jump to this session if you want to know more about what is the chatbot and what is the purpose of chatbot, why I should use a chatbot then I would recommend please visit my YouTube channel uh, about what is the chatbot. Okay, let us proceed that further. So this video is based upon the Rasa framework for the chatbot. So what is Rasa? This is a very good chatbot solution that is based on conversational AI framework that machine learning AI functionality is already inbuilt with that Rasa. We do not do, do anything for the prediction things, for the training data and all those things. Those things is already there in the Rasa. An important thing is that this is the open source and we can integrate test uh, chatbot or the voice based chatbot, anything we can integrate. And it's very useful to, uh, uh, to hold any conversation or connecting this uh, Rasa to any platform like the Slack or the Facebook Messenger or any other uh, chatting platform. And on top of that, this is very transparent. We can, we have the code for that. We can customize the code according to as per my requirement. And we can develop the chatbot in few minutes on the very basic chatbot. And others, a lot of um, uh, functionality uh, provided by the Russia we will see down the line. Okay. so. Before starting the any chatbot development, three, four terminology are very important. We must should know what is that. First is the intent. What is the meaning of intent? Intent is any common word if you develop any chatbot. So intent means what you want to get from the chatbot. Means what is your aim? What you want to get your work from the chatbot? So suppose if I say, hey chatbot, hey my chatbot, I want to order a book. So behind that sentence, my intention is that to purchase a book. So purchase is the intent, right? Take some more example. Good morning. Hi, hi, good morning. So intent is that I want to greet someone, right? Greetings kind of things. Second example, if I say no, never, I don't want thing it can be. Intent is deny, you are denying. So what is the intent behind the user input that is important for any chatbot? So this is the intent. And if you want to understand any verb in your sentence is a uh, intent. Few more examples. Uh, suppose if I say, hey chatbot, show me Indian restaurant nearby. So actual intent is that as a user, he is trying to search a hotel, right? So we have to understand what is the intent for any user input. That is not, you can took out from the sentence, but you have to understand. Take one example, if I say, hey chatbot, my laptop is broken. So intent is that I am looking some tech support, right? So this is the important and we should know what is the intent. Another concept is that entity. So entity is what is the important terminology inside the user input that is called the entity. So take one example. If I say I want to order a book. So intent was purchase. But what is the entity here? Entity is a book. right? So what the important information in the input. Take another example. Reserve a table at Taj Hotel tomorrow night. So what is the in, what is the intent here. Intent is book the hotel. Hotel booking is intent. But what is entity? Entity is two information. Taj hotel first and second tomorrow night. So one is the place name and second is the timing. These are the important. So you can see all the nouns in the user input 
is almost similar to the entirety of the user input. Third thing is the action. What is the action? When you say something, when you type something to the chat board, what is the reaction? What is the response you are getting against your input? That response is called the action. Action could be anything. Action could be one simple sentence, the way you say hi. Chat board say how are you? How are you is also a action. But input, show me the Indian hotel nearby. Then your chat board should go some website, they will call the API, fetch the information and show you. So that is the customized uh, action. So action could be the hard code also like the good morning, how are you or action could be a customized action that they will form the response and give to you, right. And next terminology is the history. History is the very important means how you want to talk with chat board means as a developer my job is that to capture all kind of conversation that a key, that one user can do with the chat board. So the interaction between the user and the board is called the history, right? So and next point is that the domain. So domain is also important. Domain means when you respond something against the user input, you should know what is your business as per your business what domain would be there so suppose if you're asking uh, book a uh, air ticket from here to there so what response you will give you should know that is called the domain and domain uh, is also very important in the rasa because it uh, it store all the information intent uh, entities action everything that you will see down the line so this pipe is very important one is the um, intent entity, action, history, domain is very important. If you understand all those things, then let me uh, show the next important thing. Now, this is particular for the Rasa framework. For the each and everything out of this five point, Rasa has provided some inbuilt file, inbuilt space they have provided, placeholder they have already provided to put this information. So if you want to put intent and entity, you have to use the nlu.md file. We will see down the line. If you want to put the dialogue management history, you have to go the histories.md. You have to put the actual output response. Suppose if you say hi, chatbot should say how are you. That response will go to the domains.yml. And the custom reply, if you want to call some API and get the data and show here, that we go to the action pi these are very important okay so now among all those five domain dot yml is the the bridge connection among the other five so if you give any information in the nlu dot md those information also you have to give into the domain dot yml and if you want to give any information uh, for the nlu those information should also go to the history.md uh, if any information in the action that should go to the domain so domain should have all the information right it it should have the intent entities action template and actions so those should be there so this is very important if you miss anything and you when you try to train your model you will get the errors for that among, uh, apart from this, there are the two important tools in the RASA. One is the NLU, RASA NLU, and second is the RASA code. So what is the NLU? It's very important. When you, when user give any input, so in each and every input, some intent would be there, right? Now, now we come to know. So intent and entity would be there in any user input. So the extraction, those entity, and intent from the user input that job done by the NLU. So behind a lot of things are there, you have to turn the data, you have to prediction and all those things. But the core job of the NLU to define what is the intent for the any user input, what is the actual intent that the prediction job is by the NLU. So there are the three important job I have stated here, how to train the data model, they support the many language, uh, they will choose the pipeline, 
pipe line is that when the user inputs of data so each word have to divide it then they have to prediction they have to lot of things is there in the pipeline you can configure the pipeline in the config.yml we will see that and the last but uh, the entity predictions uh, extractions so what is the entity and the intent in the user input and the next important thing i say that is the uh, this one um, core part so what core part that it minus the dialog means dialog management means what is your input and what is the response after the response what would, would, uh, what is the next action would be there those kind of information is maintained by the core so this is the dialog management that is a machine learning based solution we can um, we will take the input from the nlu the extraction the of uh, entity and the intent from the nlu and that they will use the probability model to find out what is the next set of action could be there right so it uh, the main job of uh, rasa core to maintain the dialog engine history domain response action that we will see one by one but there are two very important thing i am going to discuss uh, in this slide so suppose this uh, uh, i start the conversation with bot and this is the starting point and this is the ending point and this is the user uh, yellow color and the right blue color is a chat bot so when the user say hi what the response should be from the chat bot so suppose how are you after how are you user will give the very good then chatbot will say oh great carry on and the conversation end so this is the one path start hi how are you very good and great carry on this is the one path another possibilities of path would be there when the user say hi chatbot say how are you user say not very good means i am sad i am not happy then response would be different from the chatbot because input is different so then what chatbot will say say okay something i have to show you and they will show some tiger baby photo any photo or anything and again that they will ask the chatbot did that help you if the user say yes then again chatbot will say great carry on and it end so now another path is that start hi how are you not very good here is something did that help yes great carry on that end so in this there are the two path and these path information should be go to the history dot md that is very important you should understand that will be seen in the code also okay so now move to the next right this picture i am showing that how the rasa nlu and the rasa core is connected when user will give input it will go to the nlu they will predict the intent and entity and hand over to the rasa core rasa rasa core will connect either the database or api call and then give the response to the uh, user next the complete overall picture for the architecture the basic architecture for that so this is the message once the chatbot get the message it will interpret and during the interpret they will find out what is the intent what is the entity you, with the help of the nlu then it will go the tracker tracker is very important it maintain the state of a dialogue between the chatbot and the user and what is the current state so suppose user say hi i say how are you then these information they will capture in the tracker so from the tracker object you can get all the last five or six history depend upon the policies and the capture of the dialogue management okay then it will go the policy policy will decide what is the next next action i have to take depend upon the the present conversation state so they will decide the next action and that the action we fire once the action we fire then this action we update the tracker again okay this is a next action happened this is going to happen so accordingly tracker we update their uh, dialog state information and then it will go the out uh, output chat out chatbot output 
now thing is that the complete i am going to hand sound uh, this is the first chatbot uh, we are going to build but uh, for that uh, chatbot rasa should be installed in your laptop whether this is window or the macbook or the linux and i have another video on youtube that will help you how to install rasa on your windows machine okay then if you have done the installation then you can move into the uh, next part okay so this is the not the required but this is the advisable that once you start the project in the rasa or any python project you should create one environment that is called the uh, conda environment what is the benefit of the conda environment there are the many software that require the different version of python so suppose software a want the python 2.7 software b want the python 3.5 so then you cannot uninstall and install the python in your laptop right so for that we can create the virtual environment okay this virtual environment for the python 2.5 or the 3.5 and you can give one virtual name for that environment so whenever you want to use the python 2 you go to that virtual environment right and this is the use of the um, uh, the conda environment so let us start the our uh, demo session what you have to do open one uh, any uh, terminal or in the case of the um, dos you can open the dos window and uh, let us start from the scratch let create one um, demo file folder and go to the demo folder and let me uh, and you can see right now we i don't have anything okay this is empty so we have to first create the one environment i have already created the environment so i am not going to execute this first command create an rasa i have given my environment uh, rasa you can give any name then you have to activate so how to activate conda activate rasa i am giving the rasa because i have created the environment with this name then go here now you have notice one thing earlier we i had the base environment now it convert into the rasa environment okay now from here we have to create the first project in the rasa what you have to do i am skipping all those steps because i have already done done that so now you go the first command rasa init okay the moment you enter so what the rasa will do on behalf of you they will create the complete uh, folder structure in that folder structure you will have all the nlu.md history.md action.py domain.yml and uh, all the required files so and with the some uh, base of the training data also so from that base you can start your development right so see they are creating the models for all the basic data i i, I will go to so what is all the basic data here that is very interesting i love this uh, framework uh, too much and i have planned to uh, create many videos on the uh, see it is done now just i want to show how many files are there so if you go it create many files folder also right let me uh, open one uh id i use the visual studio code you can use any one so now if you see they create the data folder inside the data they have the nlu history that i have already discussed what is the purpose for this they have the domain right so these three files i have discussed to you let me go one by one so as i says nlu capture the intent and the training data for intent this is a important concept here so my intent is grid and if any user say hi then this intent should be connect but user i cannot bond any user you have to type the hi only there could be type hi hi there good morning good evening so all those input chatbot understand the intent is grid and this is called the training data so suppose if you say anything that is not matching here suppose if you say the good afternoon 
सो चैट बोर्ड शुड प्रिडिक्ट विच इंटेंट वुड बी मोर अप्रोप्रिएट अकॉर्डिंग टू द यूजर इनपुट सो दैट प्रिडिक्शन पार्ट इज हैपनिंग वेन यू ट्रेन द योर मॉडल दैट आई विल शो यू सो दिस इज द ट्रेनिंग डेटा and this is the web app. if you if you want to connect with the machine learning program in machine learning what you used to do you used to give the training data and we have the one target class right and after complete the model you give any data and they will predict the classification model the same classification model here it works these are the training data features and this is the target class okay so according to that we have the 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven. These are the uh, multi-classification problem in the case of the machine learning. This is important here. I have to give all the intent and the intent data. Another five is that the history. Just I told you. This also equally important. So what are the intent you develop? Suppose this is the grid. You have to give the name here grid. and against this grid what the output would be from chat board that you have to mention here so this is the variable name we define what is the output that response would be go in the domain but let me discuss what is the history so this is the path this is the happy path sad path 1 sad path 2 as i discuss in the previous slide so if suppose you greet user say hi then you say how are you then he say good then carry on this is the one set of path another path possibility will be there if you say hi how are you then you just say i am not happy then what the bot the chat bot could be do so as we we can define the many path as per the business domain knowledge right now the third important five is the domain right so what are the intent are here those information should be in the domain also let me open the all the three five together to better understand domain okay this is very important so now if you see first you uh, define the yeah this is the okay this is the yeah this is the nlu so i defined one grid right so this grid information should be here in any one of the path and for this grid what is the output utter grid these two information should be there in the domain so now you go and see we have the intent column so you have to register all the intent here so grid must be should be here right must be there grid is here now the utter grid utter grid if you go it is here utter grid and what is the response for utter grid the response is hey how are you so this is the complete sequence so whatever you do here and have you and the history that must be here right so suppose if you give it is here if you if you not if you not provide the grid it will give the errors so that your one of the intent is missing inside the domain so that should be there okay we run this code how it works so now what you have to do you have to do the rasa say it will give the prompt where you can uh, run the code okay so this is the first chat board you are going to work so now let me check how it connected all the all the components together so now you got the prompt your input so if i give this in intent input so for this intent i have to give any one of them so see, suppose if i say hi okay now this intent is connected to the history the this greet with the utter grid right now this utter grid connected in the domain and what is the utter grid output hey how are you so i am expecting this output hey how are you okay give the enter and see it is working have a how are you right now if you want to follow this one this path so then try to test how this path is working so give the uh, mood grid so where is the Mood grid here, right? So give any one. So if I say the uh, wonderful, so the moment I give the wonderful, it will connect this response utter happy and see what is utter happy. It will say the oh great carry on. So I'm expecting this output. Okay, so see the 
now it is working so how this all the three are connected right let me i want to change the output if you want to change any training information okay so i keep one word here but now if you want to check hi it is not working because we have not trained our model with the new training data so how to train our model with the new data so what you have to do you have to just stop it you see the instruction use backslash to stop and now you see the first time it was we have this model so now if you create the new model i expecting one more file would be here right so how to create the model uh, train the model so command is as at train after that we will notice that one new model has been created here and then we will check our uh, updated uh, response is working or not right so these three are very important files uh, we consider and i explain in very detail how these three are files are connected to each other okay let us see the output now so now let me open the rasa save command i will get the uh, uh, prompt for the chatbot and now this time if i give the hi in the hi response i am expecting this response right because what we have updated this response how are you for demo right so now enter it is showing the how are you for demo so that's it for this video and next video uh, i will explain that um, uh, what is the uh, uh, different uh, what is the action what is the trackers what is the slots a lot of information are there that i make the video on that and please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel youtube channel and thank you very much